Before diving into more advanced stuff, I think it's important to know the basic commands of Roam. There are many commands and you can see most of them in this little help page. And you should definitely check out the videos by Connor White Sullivan. He is a founder of Roam and he has some tutorials on his YouTube channel. So I'm not going to go through each command because you can see them from this help page. But let me show you the commands I use almost every day and I think you should know too. First of all, bolding and highlighting. You can do this by command B and command H. I use this all the time when I'm reading articles and book highlights in Rome so I know what's important next time I read it. Next is shift up or down. What this does is select a block above or below. I like this command because when I use Rome, I do a lot of copy and pasting and I don't want to have to use my mouse every time I want to select a paragraph or block. The next command is similar to the last one, it's Alt Shift Left or Right Arrow. This command selects word by word, so I often use this command to make a page, like this. Number 4. This is probably the most useful command for me, it's Shift Click. This opens up a page in the sidebar. For example, if you're writing an essay or article, you want to see your references, right? So you can simply search for the page and open it with shift click. Number 5 is Ctrl C and Ctrl B. What this does is toggle brackets. So the default setting is you always have brackets around keywords. And personally, I don't like this, so I usually toggle off with Ctrl B, but it's after your preference. Number 6 is Ctrl A and Ctrl E. Ctrl A will bring your cursor at the beginning of the block and Ctrl E brings it to the end of the block. I like this command because this way I don't have to use mouse or trackpad. Number 7 is not really a command but it's right clicking a page title or block's bullet point. So when you're using Roam for long enough you might get sick of bullet points and feel like you never want to see them again. When that happens, just right click the page title or blocks bullet point and select view as document or numbered list. So I always use document view when I'm writing an article or my email newsletter because having bullet points feels ridiculous in this situation. 